The Soviet regime was notoriously anti-Semitic. We can remember the Night of the Murdered Poets, Doctor's Plot and other cases where many people were killed and otherwise prosecuted based on false or made-up accusations. I don't want to go deeply into the topic, because this video is mainly concerned about the academic discrimination that took place at many Soviet universities at that time. In the 60s, Jewish discrimination has reached universities. High school applicants were taking different oral examinations based on their origin. In this video I want to discuss the so-called killer or coffin problems used to segregate the unwanted students that were designed to be extremely hard yet often had very short solutions. So this is how it works. I will showcase some of the hardest problems from those tests and you should either pause the video to think about them yourself or just keep watching to see the solution. Let's begin with this monster. Is it possible to put six points on the plane so that the distance between any two of them is an integer and no three are collinear? A simple idea of using a hexagon does not work here because a hexagon has a diagonal of irrational length. The core principle here is to use Pythagorean triples. 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, or something similar. So we start with such a triangle and consider a height onto the hypotenuse. Because the area of a triangle is an integer, the length of this height is rational. So, if we reflect point B in the hypotenuse, the new point will be rational distance away from each of the three previous points. So we got four points so far, to get two more, we need to use a perpendicular bisector. Because triangles OBC and OAB are similar to ABC, both OA and OC are of rational length, so reflecting B and B prime will give us two extra points. Stop here and convince yourself that we have now solved the problem. How is it possible to think of such a complex solution? Here is a slightly easier problem. What's larger, log 3 base 2 or log 5 base 3? The direct comparison is challenging, and the idea here is to think about 3 halves. By definition, this number is equal to 3. If we square it and compare it to the closest power of 2, we get this inequality which allows us to compare the exponents and get this. For the second number, we do a similar trick. So now we see that the two numbers compare differently to 3 halves. Some problems were easy to solve if you knew a bit of calculus, but remember that they were given to school students. Ok, here is another one. How many digits does 125 to the hundredth power have? This question is very in style of mathematical olympiads. If we somehow had powers of 10 instead, the answer would be easy. So, we can rewrite it as 1000 over 8 to the hundredth power, raising the numerator and denominator separately. Now we want to use the fact that 2 to the tenth power is 1024, which is very close to 1000. Now we can simplify the fraction and it all comes down to understanding this bracket. We can use the binomial theorem and see that the terms decrease very fast. So the denominator does not exceed 10 and the answer is 210. I took these problems from a paper which has many more of these problems and you can find the link in the description. So, do you think these problems are impossible and could you do them? at high school.